Hi. This video is in response to a question often asked by the participants in my hydraulic courses. Why is there no suction filter in hydraulic equipment? Some people have seen or they claim to have seen a suction filter in hydraulic equipment. Let me assure you that it is not a hydraulic filter. If at all you have seen one, it is a suction strainer. There is a difference between a strainer and a filter. And uh, you continue watching the end of this video to find out why exactly you can't use a suction filter as uh, required by the demands of a hydraulic circuit. I have already uploaded something similar on this topic earlier in my earlier videos, probably, but it was dealing with NPSH and other things. So I just thought that uh, the, a repeat video on this very simple topic is uh, becoming necessitated because of the confusion among so many people. Hi, you are watching Chief Engineer's Tea Time Talk. I am Ramesh, the friendly pilot who will guide you through this channel. Continue watching. Happy weighing. All the best. Have a great time. Thank you. Before I begin, let me make a small announcement. I have already conducted a few hydraulic uh, initialization programs for my YouTube uh, subscribers. Uh, junior engineers up to the rank of third engineer. In fact, surprisingly, even a few seniors, uh, senior engineers also had uh, attended my program. It's a four hour orientation program to initiate a person into the world of hydraulics. More details will be available in my website rmetc.co.in or in the description section of this video and earlier YouTube videos. Re uh, registrations are always open. Please do register and experience the thrills of hydraulics. Never again get scared of anchors, cranes, steering gears, etc. Now let's dive deep into our content of this video. We are going to understand the concept not with the same old boring technical jargons. We are going to do it in a very different way. Probably in such a way that even someone with a degree in commerce or arts can comprehend it. Maybe a lateral way of learning a technical concept with a non-technical example. Here you can see persons A, B and C playing a favorite game, passing the parcel. I am sure that all of you are aware that B can pass the parcel to C only if A hands it over to B. B is not allowed to and also has no access to the parcel except receiving it from A. He cannot go and snatch it, break the rules and bring it from outside himself. So now that you have understood the basic picture or the rules of the game, Imagine the name of the person B is the pump. So B is our pump. Does not matter. It is a centrifugal pump or positive displacement pump. Just does not matter. You can see here that the pump. You can see here that the pump. Remember we call the person B as the pump. Once he receives it, he quickly passes it on to person C. The name of this person C is the delivery pipe. So now you can imagine pump is always passing the parcel. What is the parcel? The fluid, water, oil or whatever it is to the person C, the delivery pipe. Simple of course. Now what we need to understand and appreciate is the fact that the pump cannot pass the liquid to the delivery pipe unless person A gives it to the pump. We have successfully identified and designated the person B is pump, person C is the delivery pipe. Then the question arises, who is person A? What name can we give him? Who is this mysterious guy? Well, it is time to reveal his identity. His name is, guess what? Atmospheric pressure. Yes, person A is the atmospheric pressure. He is the one who is actually supplying the fluid or the liquid to the pump. He is the one who actually keeps feeding the pump with the liquid. How? He has got some power of one bar. And he can actually push the liquid into the pump. You can also see that once the pump has passed on the parcel to the delivery pipe, his hands are empty, ready to receive the parcel again. This emptiness is nothing but vacuum. Well, now let's move out of the story and get technical. Once the pump receives the liquid, it simply displaces the liquid into the delivery pipe. Now the casing of the pump is in vacuum. The atmospheric pressure pushes the liquid again into the casing and the impeller throws it into the delivery pipe. This process being continuous. Now this atmospheric pressure as you all know is just one bar. That's it. God has made it like that. We can't argue about it. So one bar atmospheric pressure can do only so much. 
it has got its limitation a limited capacity to do things you can see here that it is atmospheric pressure which needs to push the pump this far to reach the pump casing or push it up so much up to reach the pump casing then the question arises how much up can the atmospheric pressure push the water i guess all of you know the answer yes for fresh water uh the pump can push up to 10 meters theoretically for other liquids it depends upon the viscosity and density it really does not matter whether it is a centrifugal pump or a gear pump or whatever the concept remain the same similarly there is a limitation to how far can the atmospheric pressure push the liquid to reach the pump in the horizontal direction how far away again it does not matter whether it is a centrifugal pump or a positive displacement pump this is again depends upon viscosity temperature etc etc now that we understood the basic concept we are in a much better condition to appreciate the following facts i can never ever use a suction filter in a hydraulic pump in hydraulics we need to keep the dirt away hence for the system to be effective in a long run we need to use very very fine filters up to what tune can okay, guess what the tune of say 10 to 15 microns so if we use a suction filter of this rating the atmospheric pressure will struggle to push the fluid through this filter similarly a choke suction filter in the cargo pump will enhance the cavitation loss of suction due to vapor lock etc will happen a choke c suction filter we call will cause cavitation in sea water pump etc etc a very detailed video on this topic like npsh etc is already uploaded earlier as i already told you this video was necessitated because still there is a lot of confusion about how exactly a pump works of approach thank you so much and i hope you enjoyed the video